Akei Nishimura is an introvert girl who had been called as Grun Reaper of the class because of her glaring eyes which reminds of a dead fish. Although everyone teases her all the time but there is one new transfer student Takata who takes all teasing as a good one and wanted to be friends with her. It was the first day for Takata-kun, where he meets Nishimura-san outside the building by hearing others, calling her as Grim Reaper and using a barrier against her. This made him excited and ran towards her. The classmates made a rumor that the things touched by the Grim Reaper would give them a curse and Takata heard it and was thinking why is everyone calling her that? While Nishimura was flowering plants, Takata went near her and asked why does everyone call her the Grim Reaper? She said that it's because of her glaring eyes which reminds of a dead fish, which made Takata to think it's awesome to have it. She also tells him to have a distance from her so that he won't get her curse, whereas Takata thinks that getting a curse is cool. Takata is jealous of her having superpowers being in a grade school, and wants to be friends with her so that he could get a curse and be cool like her. All Nishimura was thinking is that Takata is so different unlike others. After the school got ended, he asked Nishimura to walk home with him. Whereas the classmates saw this and were talking that Takata would soon get cursed by her. Hearing this made Nishimura to decline the offer, but he got emotional telling that there were no one to walk home with him. And they started walking together. A group of boys named Scorpion Gang approached them. Asking the new student to join their gang, Takata thought that they asked both him and her to join the gang, but the boys was calling only him. The boys tease him saying no one wants to walk with the Reaper girl, but he said that he wants to walk with her. Nishimura got sad and told him to leave and she can go by herself. Takata says that the gang leader is just a human and has no powers in him unlike Nishimura who is a Grim Reaper. He thinks that she is stoic and cool to be with and wants to be the Grim Reaper's pen pal. She got all red and asked what will he do if she's not the Grim Reaper? Would he be still talking with her? He just said that he would be with her even if she's not one. Takata just ignored the boys gang and they called him a weirdo for his behavior with her. Nishimura laughed at the boys' gang that he ignored all of them for her. He was all praising her and they both were holding hands. She was asking him why would they be holding hands. He asked her if she's uncomfortable with it, she said it's ok. Next day on the breakfast table, Nishimura's father asked her how was school going. She always used to hide the truth and tell him it's fine in school. When she came to class, the classmates were teasing her by using barrier with their hands to block curse of the Grim Reaper. Takata saw this and thought using barrier was cool and even discussed about this to her and she was all like it's a game all the classmates play to avoid her curse. He was talking about his old school saying barriers don't work in his school and all the students were friends with him. Nishimura got a little jealous hearing that he was friends with all. She suddenly remembered her father asking that how she got May friends. She was feeling happy that she got him to fill the space. Later in the PE class, Inokun, a classmate was shocked seeing Takata run so fast than him. They were all ready to play dodgeball when the gang boy aimed to throw hard at Nishimura, Takata came to rescue and got hurt. While Takata being in the nurse's office, she was planning to give his hand out at the office but stopped at the outside, where Hinokun saw in her and went in to visit Takata. After so long time, she was still sitting at the outside so he himself came out told her that she was expecting her to visit him for a long time as Hino said she was out in the hall. She said that if she visited him, the class may start rumoring them all around and he said that he was all okay with being rumored which made both of them get blushed. He asked whether she minds getting rumored and she said she didn't either. They both sat in the nurse's office enjoying the cold water from the water filter. He started telling her that he is glad that she came and he really likes talking with her and she's the best. She also agreed that it's nice talking with him which made him really happy. Nishimura feels that being called as the Grim Reaper get to rumor more about her and she really doesn't care about that much. Another day in school where everyone was doing cleaning duty, it's where Takata found a groom alone and asked Nishimura, why no one is taking it and she replied maybe it's because everyone believes there is a curse in everything she touches. While he seems this is an amazing thing as equipment obtaining curses. That afternoon Takata and Nishimura were on lunch duty, where the scorpion gang boys came the way to tease her saying, Grim. Reaper is gonna give away a curse through food. Meanwhile, Takata said not to eat their portion of curry and he would take them. The boys defended and said they needed food, this made Nishimura laugh and the boys pissed. After lunch, there was a carton of milk and the classmates went to play rock, paper and scissors for the milk where Takata also participated and lost. So she gave her milk to him. Later that evening, he had a camera in which he wanted to take pictures of them. Whereas she thinks all would tease her in the photo, but he was all ready to take pictures and they took one, which was not a good one. Hinokun came by and took the camera to click pictures of them. Takata looked all happy in the picture. He said that she makes him happy which made her blush. After school, he took her to his home, 
where his elder sister welcomed Nishimura as his girlfriend and she was trying to explain that they were just friends which made her blush again. Suddenly, he held hands with her to get and said her sister that holding hands of her would give him a curse. His sister grabbed his neck locked and he said it was giving power to him while holding hands with her. They started playing video games and his sister was seeing them playing from a side and was feeling proud of her brother. The next day at school, they were in art class themed a favorite word of each. Hino, Takata, and Nishimura were all sitting together asking each other what they were going to write. She asked him what he was going to write and he replied that he is going to write her name, the Grim Reaper. But she pleased him not to write her nickname and he asked the same to her and she was about to write something that's opposite to dark and gloomy. Words such as Hikari that means light and Taiyu which means the sun. As Taiyu was the first name of him, Nishimura got all blushed and said that she meant to say Taiyu was the meaning of sunshine. He also likes sunshine as it's a good thing in summer. Hino-kun came to Nishimura to convey the message that Takata caught a cold, and he wanted her to visit him. She thinks that it would be inappropriate to visit their house suddenly, and Hino said he would accompany her to his house. They went to his and Takata's mom was at the door. Even Takata welcomed them from inside. The next day at school, Nishimura got a love letter from her locker and Takata saw that and was shocked that she got one. While she knows that it's a prank letter or a punishment of a game. He was still thinking it was cool that giving letters to her would give him a curse and he said that he would write a times of love letters to her, she blushed. As she's also willing to be his friend, he wants to write letters for her. He also said that he has so many good things about her so it can't be filled in a letter and he wants to tell it out loud. During lunch there was a pile of silence between them which made her think that he's gonna do something big. While walking home he asks her how the letter was considered as punishment and she replied that he's just unstoppable to explain. Meanwhile, he was all excited hearing that he is unstoppable and would acquire the Grim Reaper powers slowly. While Nishimura was shopping, Takata's sister saw her and asked her to come over to her house as Takata was out for his lessons. In their home, his sister made Nishimura wear her old dress which was too cute for her. But she declined saying that her classmates would laugh at her for wearing something cutesy. As everyone in class calls her Tim Reaper. His sister also thinks that she has a cool nickname and also says that having a nickname doesn't mean you shouldn't dress like this. His sister also assured that if someone is being mean to her, Takata will stand by her. But Nishimura thinks that it would be a trouble for him. His sister said that he always talks about Nishimura and looks the happiest when he does. The next day, the Scorpion Gang boys met Takata and said about the bad luck aura of the Grim Reaper, which is also he thinks that it is so cool to have it. The gang planned to get him on their side, but he praised all of her and got them pissed. Takata also explains how fun it is to be with Nishimura. That night, he suddenly called her through the phone and told her that she always makes him happy and he will be one next to make him happy. That just ended up speaking for two hours just by saying thank you to each other. At the park, Nishimura found a black furred cat with adoption board and even Takata loved it. The cat was also fond of her, which made her to take the cat in but worried cause others would start tease and curse the cat too. Takata made her not to worry and started praising about the cat. The next day in school, they took photos of cat and was adoring it while others started to tease the cat as she worried before. But Takata totally turned the teases into her praising. A classmate Kasahara-san was suddenly came in front and started adoring the pictures of the cat and the others as usual started teasing her too. As all the students got assignment to write on summer vacation agenda, Takata was looking at Nishimura's and she totally grabbed the paper and hid behind her. The school got over as she was all alone for a while and left but there was him waiting for her throughout. As there were raining forcefully and they both doesn't have an umbrella. As Nishimura was hesitated for showing her agenda to him. She felt sorry and showed him the agenda now. Actually, there wasn't anything on her agenda, so he decided to share his agendas with each other. He started writing his agendas on her sheet. As the rain was not letting go, she thought that library would have a spare umbrella. They both were alone in the library, filling out her agenda sheet. She told him to fill in whatever he wants to do and she will join with him and play. After they finished their agendas and was about to leave, a staff found them advised them to go home as it was late. After going home, she was all thinking of him and was blushing overnight. The next day, after the principal meeting got over, all the students was not so over-exited unlike our Takata and Nishimura. Nishimura came to buy a new swimming suit as Hino-kun said that it would be boring to wear school swimming suits to out. The next day at the swimming pool, Nishimura came with her new suit which made Takata to get stunned as she was beautiful in them. The Scorpion gang were their 4 E and started teasing Nishimura as she was wearing a cute swimsuit. As again, Takata turned the mean words into sweet lines in which she got blushed. She herself started thinking that he likes her in the swimsuit. The gang boys were telling Takata not to change the things positive all the time. When Hinokun 
joined them and suddenly Takata whispered into her ear saying she is looking cute in this swimsuit. Hino came with drinks for them to enjoy and gave them to all. As everyone were wearing new swimsuits while Hinokan were wearing the school suit and said that these dorkiness might make him look cooler and Takata was praising him. All of them were started playing in water and Nishimura was happily seeing them and was glad that she bought a new suit to wear. While walking home, Takata again complimented her that her smile is cute as she got reminded of Childer 4 and teasing her smile and started blushing. She is the one who always thinks that her smile is creepy but he told her that she is stoic type. He also said that he would always be on her side and would make her smile always. It's August and the summer holiday has started, Nishimura got all ready with her dad to go to her grandma's house with her cat Kuro. As Takata and Hino can't really take care of the cat, she had no choice but to take it with her. The cat Kuro can't really bear to be inside the pet case and she comforted it. After they reached grandma's house, she was lovely and welcomed her with a big hug. Her grandma started asking how school was treating her. She was all happy to say that she got a friend in fifth grade. Grandma was all praising her dress, which was perfect and so cute in her. She was saying that her dress was from her friend's older sister. Grandma was thinking that she is very close with them and was happy about it. She suddenly thought of Takata and what would he be doing? Meanwhile, he was also in some other place enjoying with his old school friends by playing video games. He was so into the game, so his sister started scolding him to not play video games here and to play with his friends. Here, Nishimura's dad was making a cage for her cat Kuro to let him free from the travel cage. She was all ready to put her cat into the cage and it liked the cage so much that it fell asleep in them. After some time of being alone, Nishimura was already feeling bored and asked her grandma whether she could do any help for her. Her grandma said no help and was preparing snacks with watermelon when she was gone searching for her dad who was talking with his friend. His friend was all saying that his kids had many friends and were not willing to come to their hometown. Nishimura heard this and was all worried that her aged kids are enjoying their friends and she is all alone bored. She was all worrying about saying these to her cat. After some time, her grandma bought slices of watermelon. Both were enjoying the flavorful watermelon. Her grandma found that she is bored and was telling her even if she loved her grandma, there is nothing to get bored in her house. She was asking about the friends Nishimura made in her school. Nishimura was happily saying that she made an important friend this time. She was even happy that next time when her grandma visits her, she would introduce him to her. Grandma was asking if he was the one who was there when she took the kitten. She was saying he mentioned that the cat was replicating her image and even grandma agreed. That it's true, and it's actually replicating her. She was telling her that the cat's name is Kuron when she was about to introduce it to her grandma. She realized that the cage was broken and Kuro was nowhere to be found in the room. She started shouting its name everywhere. She started feeling sad that she shouldn't have brought Kuro in here. Grandma consoled her telling that Kuro would show up when he's hungry. Later, Kuro was bought home by someone and when she realized it was Takata who bought it here. He doesn't even realize her while handing over the cat. Within a minute, he realized and shouted calling her name and asking what she was doing here. When her grandma came out, she already knew Takata as he was spending his life here until last spring. Now Nishimura gets all the points as he said he was going to meet his old school friends and this is where he was about to live. Her dad came out and both of them got introduced to each other. He advised the cat, Kuro not to go anywhere without her and he was thankful and only because of her powers, he was able to find the cat. Her grandma came up with an idea of Taiyu getting her to see around the neighborhood. He was all happy about the idea and wanted to take her to many places in their neighborhood. Then they both went out to see a mountain to which he knew, how to go through a secret tunnel. The next day, Nishimura and her dad were about to pay respects to her mother, while on the way they met Takata and her dad left them both to go together and he returned alone after paying respects. Her dad was telling this to the grandma where she was all praising Takata and that she is happy knowing Nishimura is getting close with him. This made the dad fear. Takata and Nishimura went to the place and cleaned them entirely, decorating the place with jasmines and scented sticks. This was the moment Takata came to know that they are paying respects to her mom and he was slightly sad. They both started praying and he noticed that there was jasmine tea kept for her mother and not water. She replied that she got to know that her mother loves jasmine tea and she always prepares them for her. While returning, he was asking what her mother would look like. She replied that her mother died right after she was born. She feels that she was born to replace her, and she came to know about her mother by her dad and grandma who used to tell everything with details. At last, she thanked him for being with her throughout and was happy that she got to introduce her friend to his mom. He was thinking about his moments, he called her as Grim Reaper and felt awful that even he was teasing her all this time without knowing. He cried hard in front of her. She was calming him down and said he never made her feel awful once. Takata was not able to stop crying and they both held hands while returning. There was this place where they stopped to see fireflies which were all over them. 
As they took the long way back home, they got to walk more together. She hopes that Takata would feel the same. After coming to her home back from the village, Nishimura was checking agendas that they both wrote together, in which it was mentioned going to treasure hunt and fireworks. From the place where he felt sorry for her by teasing her as a Grim Reaper, he hasn't talked back to her, as he feels a lot of guilt. Here, Mishimura planned to go to his house and ask him the reason. While nearing his home, she was all stuck and started thinking, what if he doesn't want to see her isn't wrong to go uninformed so many more? At the moment, Takata was down and they eventually met with each other. Takata was a little scared and told her that he's going out with Hinokun, and started running from her. She grabbed his hands and asked him to give her a moment to talk, he agreed. At the temple stairs, they sat and were all silent for many moments. She was thinking inside that she has to start telling something, and at the moment, she started. He said sorry and admitted that you won't call her Grim Reaper anymore as it makes him more guilty when she said she was replaced by her mom. It made him feel that he was teasing and hurting her by calling her powers were cool and all. She opens up with him saying people started calling her Grim Reaper cause of her appearance, and it didn't even envy her. But when he started calling her Grim Reaper and believed that her powers work made her think she liked it. She also says that she doesn't mind being called a Grim Reaper by him, and was happy whenever he called her that. She knows that he is being worried and related to teasing, which is about her mom. Whereas she thinks of the thing that her dad said, she is the lucky one for her parents, and they would raise her without worrying and be very grateful for her. She just calmed Takata by saying these truths. She also says that if her mom was here, she would happily introduce him to her and her mom would also be the happiest. She holds his hands telling him to call her with cool nicknames and just realized that she was holding his hand and pulled out her hand from him. He came near her saying that he likes holding hands with her. Later, she just reminded him about going out with Hinokun, which shocked him that he forgot. Eventually, Hino came their way and all met up and he took that there is a festival going around nearby. So all of them went together to the festival. The festival had loads of food, stalls and game stalls too. They all were eager to eat the takoyaki and played many games. He even bought her a ghost-faced mask which she carried on her side of the face throughout. At the end being holding hands, Takata said thanks for being with him, and he is very happy whenever he is with her. They also lighted fireworks together and enjoyed the day well. The next day after school, both were walking together, and he was searching for a ring which he bought for her that is made up of ore chalcum. She suddenly started saying, she isn't that worth it. Then the girls gang came to them, and the girl Kasaharasan had it. He was happy for a moment, then she said that she found it, so she keeps it. He was explaining that he bought it for Nishimura. Kasa Arasan says that they would never suit a girl like Nishimura. As she said that it won't suit Nishimura, he was happy to know that and pissed the girl off. Takata said sorry to her and was given another ring which he also bought called a Dark Matter Ring. He even put the ring into her saying that he is just a small boy who could only offer a toy ring. Later that night, she was laying in the bed and was seeing the ring with a blushed face. The next day, Takata called Nishimura on the way and asked her to do a favor. He suddenly asked her if she would mind him tickling her, and she just shouted what kind of favor is this, and it will be embarrassing. She asked him the reason why he would ask that, and even thought of herself, is it cause from the classmates calling her Grim Reaper and getting a curse? He immediately said no, and the reason was he never saw her cracking up, and he wanted to make her laugh hard. He wishes that he would be the person to make her laugh hard. The moment she was laughing and blushing all red. In the theme park, he was asking her to pose for photos as there was a photo contest in which the first place Winner gets a music player. He wants to click pictures of her and asks her to smile and pose for him. She thinks that there won't be any points for photographing her and she also said that she will help to find a good place for him. He didn't hesitate and started taking photos of her saying she looked too cute in this dress. He asks her if she has any good ideas and they went to Hino-kun and he gave the idea of tank tops. She said that the has to take many pictures in order to win the contest. They started clicking pictures of the surroundings and clicked themselves too. They even went to the bridge side to get cool photos. They ended the day by drinking colas and seeing the photos taken in which there was a photo of Mishimura which he likes completely. The contest results came by and Takata got a second for the photo in which all three of them were in there. Another bright day with a new semester starting in the school. Mishimura was already with a little change in her appearance by adding pigtails in her hair which her dad made trust that she is looking beautiful in. Takata joined her in the way and noticed the changes in her hair and even called Pigtail Mirasan. He even made her blush by calling her the cutest in them. After entering school, the Scorpion Gang boys came in front and were teasing her hairstyle by saying it's terrible for her. Takata, as usual, took the word terrible in a cool way and was praising her. The gang boys got angered and left the place. All the students were changing their desks as this is their new semester. Luckily, they both got to sit next to each other, so Takata gave his precious sticker and pasted them on their benches. 
This made Nishimura think to herself that being seated next to him would make her school fun. At the same time, he also said aloud that seated with each other is going to be so fun throughout. She was so shocked to speak and told him that's the same thing she thought about too. The teacher came in and was asking the students to choose two students' reps among themselves. The Scorpion Gang boys suggested Nishimura to be a rep in a way to tease her. All the classmates went silent for a time and the teacher was asking whether she was willing to be a rep or not. Suddenly, Takata raised his hand and also wanted to be a rep along with her. After being almost chosen, Hasahara san who has a secret crush on Takata raised her hand, too, to be a rep with him. So she started spotting the qualities to be a rep whereas Takata mistook it and blamed himself for not filling the qualities. Meanwhile, the Scorpion Boys suggested Kasahara and Nishimura to be the reps and Takata also thinks that it would be a great idea. Meanwhile, the plan Kasahara made went all in veins. After many arguments, the teacher announced Nishimura and Kasahara as the reps of the class this term. While the two reps were carrying the summer homework notebooks all alone, our boys Takata and Hinokun helped them with their weights. While returning home, all three of them went together happily. The next day, Adaki-san came to Nishimura asking for a moment to talk with her as she hangs out a lot with Takata and Hinokun. Adaki-san wanted to ask her about Hino as she wanted to buy him a present for his birthday. Eventually, Hino came behind them in the stairs and Adaki-san was all surprised to see him and blushed heavily where he thought that she could have a high fever. Adaki ran out after seeing him, Nishimura went behind him and was talking out with her. She confessed that she loves Hinokun from the time where they were neighbors since kids. She is just jealous of Nishimura as she hangs out with them. Nishimura explains that they just got to be friends, because he was a friend of Takata. After speaking while returning to class, the Scorpion Boys started teasing Adaki as she was talking privately with the Grim Reaper. They were teasing Adaki as Nishimura's minion where Takata heard these and it was all cool for him to be her minion. The gang boys again got angered. Takata even praises her saying having Grim. Reaper in the school is making everyday fun. She got blushed hearing this. Meanwhile, Adaki noticed that Nishimura actually loves that Takata calls her her nickname. Actually, Takata came there to invite all for Hinokun's birthday party. At the party, Adaki-san came and gave Hino a gift, a cap having his letter on it. After the cake was cut, the boys were busy playing games while Nishimura and Adaki were talking together. Nishimura asked her sorry as the gang boys teased her as Grim Reaper's friend. Adaki opened up and said that she was actually happy being called as her friend. She even was in mind to ask if she could. Nishimura as a counting chan as her full name is Akane Nishimura. Nishimura was all stunned to speak as she was happy. After coming home, all she was thinking and being blushed is about her creating new friends in this term. Another cleaning day it is in school. As usual, Takata was all enthusiastic with Nishimura. Kasaera came to Nishimura and asked what's going on between her and Takata or if they are going out together. Nishimura was all stunned and said that they both won't be a good match together and that they were just friends. As Takata was coming behind her, Kasahara, after seeing him change the line saying he wasn't fun enough to be with her. Takata. Hearing this became sad and was thinking that he hasn't put much effort to be friend with the Grim Reaper. Nishimura wasn't expecting this kind of disappointment from him and was trying to explain him that she is having lots of fun being with him. Takata was all piled up to make her even more happy when she is with him. Seeing all this, Kasahara was all being angry. While Nishimura was doing rep work, Takata came to ask her to play games during field trips as she was busy with works. There came Adaki and helped her take those to teacher's table. Seeing these made Takata and Hino to think that they both are getting close. In the teacher's office, the teacher asked them to take the field trip guide to the classroom. After getting them to class, the teacher asked the students to get the bus scene plan by discussing among themselves. Here, Kasahara made a plan by saying that students should sit with the ones they don't talk much to. The teacher thought it would be a good idea, as Takata and Nishimura was planning to sit together. After this, they can't get to. Adachi came to Nishimura asking whether they can seat together and get to know about each other through this. Nishimura was happy and said okay for her. Takata beside her was all jealous that she got her partner to sit. Kasaera took this chance and planned to sit with Takata and she even came to Nishimura saying that she would take up the role called duties and she can just take care of the people who get sick in the trip. Adachi was thinking that Kasahara was all being mean with Nishimura. Takata was all happily discussing the trip with boys while she was thinking about him. The next day, her dad prepared her lunch with extra marinated eggs, which he said was his magic spell. When she left home, her dad was all thinking about her being shy to go elementary school at that age and was feeling proud of her now. While traveling, all being seated according to their plans, Takata got car sick, and they had to stop the bus to take a breath of fresh air, as he was not feeling one of the reps should be with him. 
Kasahara wanted to be with him, but as she appointed Nishimura to take care of the sick, she was left with no choice but to leave. Takata with Nishimura. The teacher gave Nishimura some money to call him if there was an emergency. As he was sleepy while sitting slowly, he just slipped his head on her shoulders, and she was all blushing. After some time, he woke up and there was her in front of him, which made him so happy. Takata was asking sorry cause of him she can't be with Adaki and get to know her, but she said that she was planning to spend the trip with him, and he also felt the same. Nishimura asked him whether they can take a detour over the place, and they happily started to. As they had the money the teacher gave them, they spent all the money in buying snacks. After the teacher came and asked about the money, he told them not to tell other students about this. After they all went with other students, Adaki and Hino came out looking for them, and Takata asked sorry to Adaki, saying it's his fault that they don't get the time to spend with each other. But Adaki said not to worry about that, and they were already close friends. All of them were happy and started to explore the planetarium. Takata says that he feels she is having very much fun here. At lunch break, all were amazed seeing Nishimura's lunchbox, as it had many eggs in them. She was saying that it's marinated and her dad made them all. She was thinking to herself that she got all friends and was happy these times. She slowly came to understand that her dad made them so much so that she can share food with others and make friends. She planned to click pictures with them and send her dad. Her dad, while seeing the pictures, got emotional that her daughter is making friends. She also sent a message complimenting about the marinated eggs he made for her. Later, Kasahara came and called Nishimura in as they were starting a movie in the planetarium, and she was all jealous seeing Nishimura and Takata sitting together and being happy. At the end, they all made memories by clicking many pictures together. Nishimura was all happy and thankful to her dad, saying she will make it through hard days too. The class has planned to do a drama in which Nishimura got the witch role, which Takata thinks is unfair that she looks cuter in this and a witch should be the one who looks terribly awful with act. But the whole class says that she will be the one best suited, as she is the Grim Reaper of the class. As autumn has started, Takata's sister called Nishimura home and gave her festival dress, as she wants Nishimura and Takata to attend her school festival. Nishimura was all thankful for letting her borrow her dress. Takata entered and was surprised and said that she looks nothing like the way he imagined and was more than cute and good-looking in this dress. They both got ready and were all happy to attend the festival. Takata's sister was there looking like a cafe's modern and she gave enough tickets to them to play and attend all events. They both started playing and got more snacks and still wanted to buy snacks. They both sat at a place to eat the snacks and were wondering that high school is looking the best and everyone here looks old. The next day at school, as the Scorpion Gang boys saw them in the festival, they asked him if he went on a date with the Grim Reaper. He started praising her looks in front of them and they got pissed off again. Later in the evening P class, they got the news about the school field day where they get to play as competitors being in five teams. As Nishimura was being sad after hearing this, he asked her whether she disliked the field day. But she said that's not at all. The Scorpion Gang team came again, teasing that the Grim Reaper team won't be winning this time too. She also said that her team never won. Anytime and all others say it's because of her curse. But Takata here thinks that if he won, this time then all would say her powers are fake. Nishimura warned him saying it's all the guys made up and no need to worry about the curse. Takata was all energized and told her that he would win the field day for her. As Nishimura says that she is slow in sports, so he decided to make her climb the ladder in the park. They both climbed to the top and enjoyed the city's view. He thinks that there's more to get to know about the city as he moved here recently, and he also says that he always wants to stick with her. While well, Hino and Adachi called them down, and Nishimura slipped and was falling down, and he helped her by catching her by his hand, which gave a terrible sound that could lead into fracture. After getting into the hospital, her dad and his mom visited. She was all crying and asked his mom how his arm was. She said that it clipped into two and that made Nishimura cry more and more. His mom was consoling her but she put the blame on her saying it's her fault that he is in this situation now. His mom also says that bones heal fast in children when it breaks so there's nothing to worry about. His mom also says that when he sees Nishimura he would say that Hopu didn't get hurt. She says that he can't say that but his mom tells her he always adores her and even will be happy that you and your dad visited him. Her dad was even pleased with his mom asking sorry. They both left the hospital and Nishimura was left with a happy face after his mom consoled her. The next day, Takata came to school with a fractured arm. Hino kun, and he were thinking that it's so cool to be with a fractured arm. Nishimura was all worried seeing him like this, but he was all normal with a fractured hand and was enjoying it. He also says that he's glad that she didn't get hurt. Nishimura remembered the words his mom told her yesterday and he told the exact words. After all this, Nishimura smiled and was feeling happy. 
At lunchtime, Nishimura was feeding Takada, and Adaki saw this in a doubting face. Later, Hino lent his notes for Takada, and he said that he is the savior of him. Even now, Adachi was seeing them with a doubtful face again. Then Hino and Takada were going to play soccer. Nishimura found them and warned Takada not to play with his fractured hand or she would inform his mom. Takada, after hearing this, decided not to play. Adachi, who was having doubts, was actually adoring the friendship and also thinking that Nishimura and Takada were all being behaved like a married couple. Nishimura herself started training in the fields as Takada can't be running due to his fracture. She thinks that it would be unfair if she didn't train well for the day. While practicing, everyone has no will to practice as they all think that sports are for kids. On the other hand, the teacher was choosing another player to run a relay instead of Takada and all chose Kitagawa, the scorpion gang boy. At first he refused, but slowly he accepted to run and Takada also thinks that they would win the race if he runs on the field. For the girls' run, no one wanted to run the race as they all felt that they would get lost in the race. But inside, Nishimura wanted to run, but her timing on the field is not so great. So she's afraid to raise hands for the run. After submitting the logs in the teacher's office, Kasahara was ready to leave home. There was Nishimura waiting for her in the dark, and Kasahara got scared of seeing her. Nishimura wanted to ask a favor, pleasing her to run on the field as she was the winner of the third grade. She asked Nishimura to run, but her timing is not good on the fields and they can't win. Kasahara asked if she was trying to get a run because of Takada's sake. Nishimura replied saying she's having fun at school nowadays and doesn't want to just watch all others. Winning. Kasahara thinks that she's being stubborn and gloomy with her. At last, Kasahara accepted her favor and Nishimura was all happy. All the classmates were happy to know that Kasahara was back and running and everyone cheered for her. On the field day, Takada went to the hospital to get permission from the doctor saying if he could run the race or not. As game started, Nishimura was helping the students in Kitagawa. Said that she was doing a good job and she was stunned. At the lunch break, Nishimura's dad made his magic spell, marinated eggs, and everyone enjoyed the lunch. Hino saw Kitagawa drinking tea nonstop and asked him why he was drinking nonstop. It turns out that he was really afraid of running relay and he wants to boost energy by drinking it. Takada's sister came to the field day and was recording everyone with her camera. Nishimura asked her about Takada and she said that he's being examined by the doctor. He got a yes from the doctor and can run for the race. The teacher informed Kitagawa that he would be the anchor for the race which made him going shock again. As the race started and Kasahara's chance came as she was in lack of speed, Nishimura got an idea to encourage her and started shouting her name and all others started supporting too. At the end of her place, Takada was already there, ready to start his pace, he ran so fast that he won the race. Everyone praised Takada and he was all having his eyes on Nishimura. After some time, Kasahara was alone sitting under a tree and Nishimura found her and thanked her for accepting her favor. Takada came in running towards them and jumped on them as they were all happily hugging together. The next day, field day photos arrived and everyone was teasing her that she's gonna curse the photo too. Kasahara called Nishimura to show a photo of her being with Takada. Even Nishimura was happy seeing her being happy. Nishimura collected a four-leaf clover, which is a symbol of luck, and decided to give it to Takada as he shouldn't get hurt next time. Takada was all happy to receive it from her. Then, there was the scorpion gang boys teasing that the clover would have turned into a curse as it was from the Grim Reaper. As usual, Takada was thrilled hearing that and was thinking it's cool to get cursed in this form. He also said that a good lucky charm made by her is one of the kind and he is very much to be receiving it. In the corridors, some girls were gossiping about seeing Nishimura's eyes give bad luck. When Takada came in and asked about it, he was all happy and felt cool about it as he always sees her in eyes which is very admiring and beautiful. The next morning, she came in with a bandage in one of her eyes, telling she got bumped in her eyelid, which is nearly fully recovered. While the other girls were acting rude, saying she purposely had the bandage just to get attention from Takada. Takada was all touched hearing the words the girls said. The girls even told her to take it off cause she said it nearly recovered fully. She also did take off where Takada got to see both her eyes and he was flattered. The next day, Nishimura was wearing a full white coat cause of the cold outside, which made the girls gossip again, but this time they teased her having Kasahara with them. Meanwhile, Kasahara was all having the thought where she and Nishimura spoke alone and totally ignored the girls. Later, Kasahara went to talk with Nishimura where Nishimura said she thinks Kasahara is pretty cool. Kasahara asked what's so cool about her. She replied that her dressing sense is all that makes her look so cool, and she runs fast too. Kasahara felt a little bad that she teased Nishimura back then about her dress, but now she doesn't have those in her mind. While Nishimura was walking in the corridors, there was the Scorpion Gang saying that one of them dreamed about the Grim Reaper last night and others were telling that he might be cursed by her. 
Meanwhile, Takata came in shouting her name saying that he also had a dream about her last night and even thanked her for coming into his dreams. He also asks her whether by getting her in dreams will give him more power. She was all blush standing and said you are the one who is happy about getting the Grim Reaper in the dreams others would be scared of getting cursed. Then there was Kino saying he also had a dream of having Mishimura and Takata in there. Takata was all happy cause they were together in the dreams too and praised Hino. After school, Nishimura went to Takata's house where she and his sister were talking. As he was not at home, she just came to return some of his manga. His sister was asking her whether she got teased for hanging out with Takata. She replied that Takata is the one who saves her others teasing and she's fine about it. Soon, Takata came home. His sister teased her saying your future husband is here. Nishimura asked her not to tease her like that. His sister was all picking up on her and he said that she can be his sister but she can't pick up on Nishimura. His sister just said that they're just adorable. The next day, Ibaki came to Nishimura asking to see her cat as Takata said her cat was so cute and asked her whether she could come to her home. In back, Takata was all shouting cause he was never gone to her house. Then she welcomed all of them to her house. She cleaned her home thoroughly and was placing things in the right place. Her dad came home and asked her why she was cleaning the home and she said that her friends are coming over tomorrow and she still has a lot to clean. She even started picking dresses to wear for tomorrow. Her dad complimented that the dress looks cute on her. As she wants to have snacks for tomorrow, she wants her dad to go with her to buy snacks. They both went to buy cakes which she once ate at Takata's house. Finally, she bought the cake and arrived home. The day arrived, Takata was all energetic and told her sister that he was going to Nishimura's house as she invited them. At the same time, Nishimura was feeling ill and her dad was asking whether she needed anything or not. She asked sorry to her dad for being selfish and buying things where she wasn't feeling well. She fell asleep while worrying that her wonderful day was ruined. After some time, when she woke up, Takata and others were in front of her and she thought it was all a dream. But it was real, after they all talked with her and she started saying that this is the first time someone visited her while she was sick. Her dad was hearing this from being outside the room feeling emotional. After they all enjoyed the cake and shared time with her, Hino gave her a ramen coupon as their parents were in a ramen shop. All decided to get going, she just dragged Takata's shirt and said don't go and she feels lonely. She fell asleep again and when she woke up and saw the Raymond coupon, which made her shout cause it's not a dream. The next day, Nishimura saw Takata on the way, he also said that the chocolate cake was so good. She just thanked him for coming over. Just to assure, she asked him whether she said anything weird to him. He was stunned and she said never mind. She also thanked him for the coupon but he said that she should thank Hino for that. He was just glad that she's all better now. Seeing this, Kasara was a little upset shouting what was happening between these two while Adachi was just adoring them. Kasahara was sitting beside the road milling a cat which was behind a post stand waving its tail out. But it turns out that it was just a plastic cover stuck behind the post stand. She was so embarrassed seeing and also Nishimura was behind and saw the scene. They both sat at a place and Nishimura asked her whether she loves cat more. But Kasahara was so embarrassed that she shouted at her cause she would be thinking it was weird. But Nishimura was saying that it wasn't embarrassing but endearing. Kasahara asked her about her cat and wished to see it sometime in school. Kasahara saw that there was a leaf struck in Nishimura's hair and was about to take it off but Takata came in and she stopped herself. But she did go near and took the leaf off. Takata was happy to see them being close with each other and even complimented them saying Kasahara the Swift and Nishimura the Grim. Reaper is hanging out, the strongest duo. The next day, Takata, Nishimura and Hino were all planned to go to the zoo and they were just waiting for Hino to arrive. She was complimenting Takata saying he looks all good and neat. Hino arrived late and they all enjoyed the zoo as it was free for grade schoolers. In school, the Scorpion Gang boys started teasing Nishimura saying they saw her as a ghost in a TV show, but Takata came in and said that she was with him all day. The boys said that they went on a date but they refused, as there was Hino with them too. While Nishimura was on her way to the grocery shopping, she met Takata and they went shopping together. Later in school, the girls came to Takata asking if he knew about illicit fraternization. He asked what's that. They replied that it's a very naughty thing that troublemakers do. The girls accused him of doing it without realizing as he is close with Nishimura. He was shocked and asked how come being with her causes them. The girls said it counts as he talks with the opposite gender and shares all his thoughts to her. The girls also accused saying by this case they both will be framed as troublemakers. He handles the situation calmly by asking sorry girls as they will also be called troublemakers cause they also speak with him. While going home, Mishinura told him that talking to girls won't make him a troublemaker and he was relieved at last. Takata's sister's friend came to his house saying she got a date for Christmas and he was all excited. Hearing this, he was all happy saying that he is accompanying Mishinura for her shopping. 
Ishimura was waiting for him at the place and he came on time. He was explaining that preparing for Christmas is important for the most part. She replied that it's her first time celebrating Christmas with friends and she's not sure about them. He introduces her to a drink called sparkling cider which can be drunk by kids too. He also plans to have cake and fried chicken with them, and tells her about exchanging gifts. They were contacting the decorating, which was being done by Hino and Adachi. They were saying that decoration is going smoothly over there and shopping is doing well too. They planned to go to the pastry, shop for cakes. Some random couple on the road adored them as they were also on Christmas date. They also saw his sister's friend being on a date on their way where the couple was about to kiss, and the kids were shocked. After some time, they planned on buying the cake and went to the place. Takata and Nishimura bought the cake and returned to Takata's home, where all of them were already fully decorated and assembled to enjoy the evening. Hino and Adaki thanked them for doing the shopping. The shocking is that, Kasahara was also been invited and she was shy to enter the house as she was new in here. After the incident they saw in the park, they both have a talk with each other well. While they all made toast in glass, Nishimura and Takata were all calm and silent. Kasahara asked. Adaki what happened between them and she replied saying they were all normal when they went shopping. Kasahara was worried that they were being silent even though she graced them with her presence. Even Adaki was thinking about what has happened to them. Later Hino started talking about gift exchange and everyone was shocked. They all made a group of sheets with numbers, shuffled them and each one of them picked one, and they got to choose the present by the chosen number in the sheet. Takata got number one and picked Kasahara's gift, which was lip balm. Kasahara was saying that lips get dry easily during winter and even boys should take care of them. As she was talking about lips, he was reminded by the scene at the park and got stunned. Nishimura saw this and understood that he was still in shock. Later, Adachi got the present from Takata, which was mustache stickers and Hino got. Adachi's gift, which is sunglasses. At last, Kasahara got Nishimura's gift of a beautiful scarf. For winter, Nishimura thinks that she looks pretty in the scarf. Kasahara thanked Nishimura for the scarf and Nishimura was also saying thanks for everything she did on the field day. Kasahara turned all red and accused her cause she was called as Kasahara the Swift on that day which was really embarrassing. Kasahara says that even the juniors of them started a club in her name which Nishimura thinks is unbelievable. Kasahara was all drunk and dizzy cause she drank way too much of that sizzling water and Adachi got a hold of her. Meanwhile, Takata was on the balcony all alone and Nishimura went there to ask if he was okay. Is it because of what happened in the park? He suddenly confessed that he likes her, and it's totally different from the way he likes Hino. He also asks whether he can <laughs> She was stunned and all blushed. Both were looking at each other's eyes and she said he can't do that and the person he <laughs> someday could be some other who he really wants <laughs> deep down. He instantly replied saying she is the one he wants <laughs> deep down. Kasahara entered the balcony and ruined the moment of them. While he murmured in her ear saying we will talk about this again, she was all thinking that he came on her forcefully, and it's good that they didn't really kiss. Later, Nishimura got her surprise from Hino, a tank top. She was all thinking about the moment he asked her, but he was all normally behaving with her. They went to a New Year festival with his sister and mom. They all wanted snacks, so his mom asked them to stay and went to buy them snacks. He was excited for the snacks, and this made her think that he is being completely normal, which in a way is kind of comfortable for her. He asked her what she was thinking, and she replied that's her first time being with friends outside this late. His sister said that it's a rare memory to spend time with friends late. Nishimura was all happy and told that the moments they both spent together this year were truly happy memories and even thanked him. He was also very happy about her saying this. He was telling her that if we tell our wishes to someone at the New Year Shrine, then it won't come true. But he also said that he thinks they both will wish for the same thing as they share the same kind of love. Later, Hino and Adaki and his parents joined them at the festival. He also bought a new mobile and wants to have her contact, so they can text each other often about stuff. In the chat, they wished each other a happy new year and laughed at it. New year new day at school, seats changing happened. The Scorpion Gang boys were listed to sit with Nishimura and he thought he would get cursed, but Adaki came in as help by asking the teacher if she could move his seat forward, as she couldn't see the board from behind. By making Nishimura go back, she made Nishimura and Takata sit together and he was all happily shouting about it. At school, Takata was all meditating while sitting alone while Kitagawa, the scorpion gang. Boys came and asked him what happened. Takata was saying that he can't take Nishimura off his mind and feels heavy in his chest. Kitagawa was teasing him saying that the Grim Reaper's curse has hit him and he became cursed. Meanwhile, Adachi and Hino were behind. Takata, where Adachi was correctly guessing that it was because of love. Later, Takata was on a mission to find the bomb in the classroom, 
which was the task given to him by the Scorpion Gang by offering him a place in their gang. The plan is to beat the Lizard Gang of another class of boys in everything as they always win with unfairness. They have planned to scare the opposite leader by making a custom mod with a roach inside and placing it in their locker which will open by itself at chosen time. The Gang Boys planted the plan wrongly by placing it in Nishimura's locker, and now they beg for help from Takata. The favor is to take back the mod before it runs off time. Takata asked why they were choosing him, and they made him do it by saying Nishimura's name, which he would never deny. He just went into their classroom where Nishimura was there and he asked her whether she saw a bomb in here or not. The gang boys were peeking from outside seeing what he did. Nishimura shouted as soon as she heard the word bomba, and it literally circulated through the class within seconds. The students were all ready to call the police or fire department. Takata was all acting up as a hero and he found the bomb and gave it to the teacher. The class surrounded near the staff room where the locker's time went off and all the roaches flew all over the school. While going home, Nishimura thanked him for rescuing the bomb from her locker and he was all happy just to get to see the Scorpion Gang Boy's base. He also told her that he wishes to start a gang in the name of Grim Reaper and would allow Hino and Adaki to join in. The next day, the teacher gave all the students an assignment to date themselves of how they would look after 10 years from now. All drew something and Nishimura was out of ideas while Takata drew him and her in a frame. The next day, they both were walking together and where he smelled something new about her, which is because she changed her shampoo. As he noticed it easily, she thought the other students would tease her about it. But Takata made sure that even without her shampoo, she's gonna cool and got a charm curse. At home, Takata was so bored and suddenly he got a message from Nishimura, which made him become hyped. She just texted him asking what he was doing and he had seen it but not yet replied. Meanwhile, he was all shouting happily cause he got a message from Nishimura. He just replied to her saying thank you for messaging, and he could even die by receiving her message. He also wanted everyone to know that he got a message from Nishimura and earlier at school, he happily went to all the students saying that he got a message from her. A new day, Nishimura and her dad were walking down the road and Takata ran towards and joined them. He welcomed her dad and asked him about his horoscope today and he said it was a bit bad and both of them were staring at him and he made himself a joke. Takata was saying that she and her dad both do like Nishimura and he's gonna call her dad a cunning chan hereafter. But Nishimura says that calling the first names is a bit embarrassing to call. He said that he loves calling a kan chan. Her dad at the back was laughing a bit and started walking with them. They both were happily walking with her dad.